morning, 47. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado Logistics Network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Cutscenes in Hitman 2 are so weird. Hello and welcome to day 37 of my attempt to 100% everything in Hitman 3. Today, going off the stream description, is going to be a very short stream because I feel like crap. I've woken up with a very sore throat and a bit of a headache, so... I'll play for a couple of hours, but honestly, this probably isn't going to be entertaining or insightful to watch. So, you've been warned. Uh, today, all good things must come to an end, so we are starting Santa Fortuna. And by starting, I mean I have run through it previously, once before. So I do have a couple of these thingies unlocked. But honestly, I did the explosive package kill. Interesting. Um, for all intents and purposes, however, I'm pretty much starting this from scratch. And yeah, as you can see, there is a ton of stuff to do, and there's also a lot of escalations that need to be done. And this one here, I'm not touching until very late, um, once I've finished Isle of Scale. Okay, so um, without further ado, let's just get onto it. Let's get started. I'll just go in from the standard location, take my standard gear, although I will swap this with the slightly more silenced pistol. I still need to play with those. And yeah, let's go from there. The only other thing I want to mention is that I did the elusive target offline. And honestly, there's very little to see there. You just hide the gas grenade in a briefcase, isolate the target, and then fire it. Go to a toilet and drown them. It's not a terribly interesting target, unfortunately, because there's very few creative... There's very few creative opportunities in that mission. Um, what do I have unlocked here? I'll put the fire wire here, just because I know Versatile Assassin screws me over a lot, so... Actually, it's a village, so let's... Let's RP this, we'll take the fishing line with us. I haven't tried this suit yet. Let's let's go in wearing an ultimate black suit. Whatever ultimate black means. Yes, yeah, so again, today won't be a very long stream. Um, it'll probably just be long enough for me to talk about this level, describe everything that I hate about it, and then I'll log off and maybe stream a little bit during the week.
Rico Delgado, he was in the previous mission, wasn't he? I'm very tempted to go back and look at that. Welcome to Columbia 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers, armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village. While Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office, or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. Can I just sit here for the next two hours? Maybe we can take a screenshot of that and Photoshop Keanu Reeves' face on there. So this map reminds me a lot of Marrakesh in that it is broken up into three distinct areas. You have the village here. You have clear separation by paths. You have the mansion. And then you have the fields over here. And it's a very, very flat design. But there is a little bit of linkage between them in the way of mission stories and things, which makes it a little bit more interesting than Marrakesh. But honestly, it feels a lot like it's simply because you're dealing with three discrete areas like this. And it's it's just kind of boring. But anyway, I'll try I'll try not to be so negative. What have I done so far? I've done the cocaine machine, I've done the tattoo story, and I've done the explosive package. And also pushing her off the balcony. Using the love letter. How about we do some fob wire? The ever-classy Rico Delgado has commissioned a statue of himself to adorn the village square. Today's unveiling ceremony will feature a local band, and Rico Delgado will attend in person. I suggest you take a closer look, 47. This should be a unique opportunity to engage Delgado outside the walls of his compound. So this one involves this statue right here. Sure. I was at the bar last night and the band were really good, both with the music and the drinking. But my husband told me nobody's seen them since. So that's why Martinez and the Delgado Sicarios are running around like hellish chickens. Must grind her gears to finally not have things go her way. I'm sure they're fine. Probably just passed out somewhere, you know? Martinez will find them. She always get in her way. Don't patronize me. Born to E5. Bishop to C4. Tell me again. Anyone who talks in chess notation is automatically on my shit list. Hey chat, how are you going? Should have said that a while ago, but anyway. Does that foundation look entirely stable to you? Well, I'm not amazed on that. No. 
No, it doesn't. It looks to be a little crumbling around the edges. Kind of like Rico, eh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shh, start you loco! Don't talk about the boss like that, or you will go straight to the hippo holding pen. Oh, I've got to go and drain the litter. Drank so much cerveza last night. Yeah, you practically finished the whole damn barrel single handedly. Maybe not the greatest idea, Bessie. Does anyone actually say drain the lizard anymore these days? Drain the lizard, siphon the pipe, and whatever. It's like 80s speech. Uh, where is your gun? Let's see if we can just walk past a guy. No, you don't recognize me because I've got a thingy on my face. I want this situation taken care of. You understand? I'm heading back to my office now, but I'll be back soon, and you had better have your shit together. Rico is not going to like this. So we got two objectives here. Firstly, we need to sabotage this, and secondly, we need to reunite the band. Wherever the band is. First things first, I need to find a wrench. Well, that's not a wrench, but I'll pick it up anyway. That's also not a wrench, that's an oversized lockpick. Discover fishing shanty. Can I walk in here? And every entrance to this place is locked. Except for this one. And I'm not trespassing warehouse. Do you have a wrench in your warehouse? You have a coffin, you're clearly working on a, um, a motor here, a boat motor, a propeller. But this isn't a terribly good place because it doesn't have a wrench in it. What kind of self-respecting workshop doesn't have a wrench? Spoiler alert, they're talking about a submarine. Uh, limited mission story guidance, yes. I've turned off the... Uh, it, it's basically not on, not on full, so I can't see the next objective on the map. It just brings up the little thing at the top left that says Sabotage Delgado Statue, but it doesn't give me handheld instructions on how to do it. Like, it won't point me to a wrench, and it won't point me to the statue. Uh, 
I typically only put it on full when I'm really stuck or don't understand what the story is asking me to do. See any wrench around here, buddy? No. Like the next part of this mission story, for example, I've got to reunite the band, and I do recall doing that on Hitman 2, and I'm extremely worried that I'm not going to know where everyone is. So if that happens, what I'll probably do is switch it on temporarily to full. in the world maybe he's here to see that delgado guy we've been hearing about sounds like he's got money to spare oh could be <gasps> lucky guy i wish i could afford one of his pieces ah his work isn't that impressive all he really seems to be doing is touch ups and cover ups of botched work on that reality tv show of his improving on stuff that looks like crap probably isn't too hard you know I think you're wrong. His line work is to die for. I still say he's a poser. Look at his sleeves. For crying out loud, those are obviously fake. Tell you what, let's go back to the bar and spy on him some more. I'll prove it to you. We're never going to find that hostel on our own anyway. Fine by me. I do wonder if it's actually possible to interact with those two dressed up as P Power. But we've done that mission story. Um, we gave. Rico Delgado a tattoo many months ago and I think it ended pretty well. Um, there's some sort of repair shops around here. I'm wondering if there is a wrench around here. Oh, what's this? Create oil leak outside the gas pumps. What could possibly go wrong? Oh yeah, I don't know what's going to get run into the ground first. You're running an auto repair shop, and you don't. Yes, you do. Yoink. Okay, let's go back to the statue and sabotage it, and we'll see where we go from here. Yeah, this part worries me. I may need to turn on guidance for this. And just thinking ahead, I would like to get rid of you. I'm struggling to remember how I did this in Hitman 2, but from what I remember, it ended very, very badly. Just loosen these nuts. Yeah, the next objective, which is showing up in the guidance, as mentioned by um, Andrea earlier, or the bodyguard rather, is that we can't do the ceremony without the band. So the next objective is locate three missing band members. I remember where one of them is. Maybe a second, but after that I am struggling. And this is not one of them who I thought was here, but anyway. So we've located one band member, but how do we actually get him off his bum? Like this, maybe? You look like how I feel at the moment, mate. Ay, my head. Good, buddy. Ay, mierda. Perdón, señor. I'll be right there. It's not too late, is it? I'll go right now. I think Raul was trying to catch a bus earlier. Don't know if he made it. Good luck.
trying to catch a bus, huh? The only bus stop or bus anything that I'm aware of is right at the very start of the mission. There is a bus stop that you can use to exfiltrate. So just going in here because I noticed this on my radar. Come on. You can do it, 47. Good man. Anything else in here? Nope, just a conveniently placed coffin, which honestly isn't that useful because we would need to hit someone here and then drag them into this building. Um, so here is the bus stop. Or maybe it's a little bit down the road. No, that is absolutely the bus stop here. So the band member was allegedly trying to catch a bus. Don't know if he made it, so maybe the band member is around here somewhere. I'm just looking at black dots on the radar at this point. Aha! Uh -huh. I feel there are so many other ways you could wake him up, 47. Like you're just playing pranks at the moment. So we already found Pablo. He was the guy next to the generator. The last one... Okay, so this is actually showing up on my radar and I'm certain that um, the HUD is switched to limited. Or minimal, rather. And honestly, I think that is switched on because otherwise you're not going to find this one without help. Uh, he's in here, but you can see that's clearly not him. Can we get into this room here? We can also because... I can't lockpick my way through there because she is watching. I can get her to turn around maybe. But you know what? It's easy so we just turn the music off. Shit. Pretty nice place you got here, buddy. Let's go in here and grab the... Ooh. One of the band members hired to play at the statue unveiling has met with either an accident or has been drinking too heavily, causing some sort of fatal heart attack. Now the band is missing a drummer. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is other than to maybe hide the fact that he died of a heart attack. But yeah, 47 proved that he can play the drums back in Bangkok. So you know what? It's time to repeat the feature. Looking good. How did they know it was a heart attack? 47 is psychic. You can look at someone and just go, yep, this is how this person died. He's a professional at killing people, you see, so he knows how people die. You just got to know these things sometimes.
Um, so before I sit down and play the drum, I would just like to drop my briefcase somewhere and retrieve the fishing line within. Where was the place where I picked it up? It was here, wasn't it? Viveras, I can't read that because the texture hasn't loaded. <laughs> Now we have our fiber wire, which hopefully I will use or remember to use at some point. We have an enforcer in here who recognizes that I'm not actually the drummer. We have the other band members who don't recognize that I'm not the drummer. <laughs> Go figure. And we'll save, sit down and play the drum. And we'll see where this goes. I do recall having some difficulty here, like figuring out exactly what to do and how to get that pushed. Let's join the band as a band member. I have to admit I do not recognize that or I don't know what the technical name of that instrument is that's being held by the guy next to me. I mean, I understand what it's for and I understand how to make noise with it, but I do not know what it is called. And if anyone's in chat right now, can you hear the noise outside? There's a huge, not a thunderstorm, but there's a lot of rain coming down. And I'm very curious to know if my mic's picking it up. I'll watch this stream later just to see if it's audible or not. Okay, so Andalea Martinez is on the move. And hopefully Rico Delgado is on the move as well. Don't hear it? Cool. I've got the gain turned down all the way, almost all the way I can on this phone, on this microphone, so. It's still pretty loud though. Just going to drop another autosave or save because we've been waiting a while and I'll probably need to wake one more before. Another band member up there? Good. Good, almost there. What are you up to? Stop messing around. You've got a bit of a broken oh. script there, lady. You managed to get everything fixed? Uh, it's really I'm working. We're all working. So the statue is still unstable. Just turning the gain up for a moment so you can hear it. It's that noise there and I think if I've got the microphone set to about here it will be inaudible hopefully but we'll see. Um, why are you walking away? Maybe I just had to push the button.
Thank you for checking that out. Appreciate it. So she's in a good position now, but the problem is I need to actually hop out of where I am and get up there without disrupting the band. Watchful and caring eyes, really? Don't ever quit or don't snitch and you won't um, end up on a video on the internet. another save there because there's a very this is all timing based now My dear, wonderful, grateful people. we'll just watch this and see where it goes Forty-seven, professional drummer. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. It's me. I'm in the square now. I don't see a puta mierda in here. Hey, go now. Find somewhere safe. So that is distinctly not how I recall doing it on Hitman 2. I think what I did is I um. Let me just check the challenges. And it is coming down outside. Assassinate both of them with the statue. Now I don't know if I've already blown my opportunity to do this because I've already sabotaged it. But the way that I did it on Hitman 2, and I don't know if this is correct or not, is basically I moved away at this point and I got myself into position. Stuff to do, man. Nicely 
Nicely done, 47. Poetic justice coming up. That is, that is the one suit that I did not want to put on, but it's fine. So I really don't know if this is the intended solution. My dear, wonderful, grateful people of Santa Rosa, it brings warmth to my heart. For years, decades, we have struggled against the oppressive forces of the outside world. For years, the Delgado cartel has been a bulwark against those who seek to do harm to you all. Today, we celebrate this struggle and the victories we have earned. Today, I grant you this symbol of freedom and rebellion. May it forever light your days and nights with hope of greatness and serve as something to aspire. All of you can become as me one day. Drum roll, please. I said, drum roll, please. You're not getting a drum roll, buddy. Just make a save here because this is probably going to take more than one attempt. Okay, so I'm being spotted, which is not good, but it's fine. I'm not after Silent Assassin on this particular run. If you time that exactly right, you can get both of them at the same time. And that will unlock the challenge. And again, I don't know if that is actually the intended way to do this or not. I really don't. It's possible that maybe what you need to do is just join the band without sabotage in the statue, have him pull the cover off, and then go upstairs and sabotage and push it. There we go. Got it. Martinez is down. Good work. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. Um, where is the other disguise? Street soldier. Are street soldiers allowed in here? You can come in here. They are not. This seems like a terrible idea. I oh, know there's a coffin here. That's fine. Maldito. Why do I gotta spend my day doing bitch work? It's bitch work. Though. That's a nice way of putting it, buddy. Oh, we got two. Oh, this could be bad. This could be really bad. Nope, we're fine. We're probably not fine. We'll just wait here a moment.
You just pick up your gun because we can't have guns lying around. Jorge Franco spends time hunting for unusual plants in the jungle. One plant in particular looks to have caught his eye, a rare plant that grows on the edge of a cliff outside the cocoa plantation. Edge of a cliff, huh? Again, that doesn't sound like an accident waiting to happen at all. Here we go. Poison cocaine. Look, that stuff's not good for you. That's going to get you killed, man. Uh, this looks like the... Yes, it is. Moses Lee, Sierra Knox. Someone was watching the race. I presume that's like historical info that he's looking up on the internet for whatever reason because the race was at least a while ago. So this is Rico Delgado's lovely mansion. We've already killed him, we killed him at the statue, so we don't need to spend too long here. I'm just having a bit of a wander around. Oops, you're in for some. You use jet fuel to dispose of bodies. I sort of fed the body to the people. You did. His body had half a kilo of cocaine hidden inside it. Oof. How was I supposed to know that? You're dead. You are so dead. So two things. Firstly, the hippo likes eating people. And secondly, the hippo has just eaten half a kilo of cocaine. That ain't good. Um, this spa here. The few times I've played this mission, I've been very curious about how to use this spa to create a kill opportunity. Rico Delgado's waifu, I don't remember her name, um, but she's the one who took the selfie with Pea Power, or myself dressed as Pea Power, rather. Um, she definitely mentions coming here and maybe having a soak. But I haven't found an opportunity to make it work. Speaking of the devil. Catalina Delgado, wife to Rico Delgado for the past 11 years. If you say her name, she gets summoned. That's how it works. I think there is a way of killing her with the jacuzzi, but honestly, I'm not sure how. Maybe I can use an emetic poison in that drink and then she'll go and vomit in the jacuzzi. You may not smoke, but she certainly is. You please go away from me. I'm hot, and you're not. Damn, girl. That's harsh. I look like a freaking male model. Ask anyone at Paris. Um. Yeah, let's unlock this door. I don't smoke my cocaine, no. I don't smoke it. Uh, so there is a challenge I think that's associated with this particular room and we'll just spend some time here because, you know what, I feel like it. This baseball bat was for a long time my secret Yes, it comes with the territory. As a young man, it, man, I worked as an enforcer for the traitorous Moreno Cartel. And the bat was used as a persuasion for collecting debts. Later, when I decided to leave the Morenos, it was used 
one last time on my old boss. After that, the aptly named Head Splitter was retired. Very cliche, don't you think? An enforcement spaz. I've got to try it. What may I ask is the points of this action other than maybe causing a distraction on this guy here. I thought that would be a challenge, but it's apparently not. Dude, don't interrupt me. I'm trying to listen to this stuff. You can't stop the story there, man. How did the DEA, DEA agent, agents go? What happened to them? Did you kill them? Did you run them over? I mean, I don't see any damage to the front of the car, so I'm assuming you didn't run them over, but what did you do? That is a really nice car. Is Rico Delgado an egomaniac? I think we might need a bit more evidence before we decide yes or no on that. Yeah, we definitely need more evidence. Very short one. Uh, Miho, your pet hippo. Yeah, you'll be getting pretty closely acquainted in a couple of missions time. Uh, you are standing exactly where I don't want you to stand. And I did notice that strumming the cello will bring one of those two over. Maybe. Perhaps. Or maybe it only works once. Um, do you mind if I play this thing, ladies? I adopted Miko the hippo. Mother was shot by the Get away from me, you must be. He has been residing in his own enclosure here at my estate ever since. Playful and kind, the hippo is loved by everyone in the Delgado mansion and surrounding compound. Sure. Now I you adopted him because his brother was shot and he's loved by everyone. Got it. Um, so that's unlocked a certain challenge. Um, I'll look at that later. But yeah, the real question is, is he an egomaniac? Yeah, I still reckon we need more evidence before we decide on that. It's very clearly yes, but anyway. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was trying to dodge those. She went crazy like I've never seen before. The only reason she calmed down was because she ran out of things to throw at him. It's a madhouse. And all because of some tattoo. Not just some tattoo. Mrs. Delgado is very sensitive about her looks and, well, she's not getting any younger, you know? She's been hiding all the old photographs of herself just because she doesn't want to face the fact. And that tattoo is just the constant reminder of what she used to look like. That explains all the shouting. Bad memories of trying to learn from Santa Fortuna. Yeah, this whole mission is a bad memory. I never really got acquainted with it.
That seems like a really, really inefficient way to store wine. Just saying. This is slightly better, but it's still not great. That just seems like it's showing off. The layout is pretty bad. The, la the layout is Marrakesh. And we all know how much people love Marrakesh. I mean, the individual areas aren't bad. Like, this mansion area is not bad. The village, in my opinion, isn't bad. The cocoa fields even isn't that bad. It's just tying them all together. It just doesn't work. You need to be extra careful around the family items. Mr. Delgado got some important pictures and things like that in his trophy room that you need to be very gentle with. Sure, I understand. He told me about the cello and some of the other things. I had no idea the Delgado family immigrated from Chile. Well, Rico's uncle Fernando was from Chile. Apparently, he was killed alongside his son, Rico's cousin, in some freak accident. Rico is very sensitive about it. Sounds horrible. I don't suppose we can use that information in any way. Um, we have a chef disguise here. So this here is one of the security rooms. I'm very surprised I put them on full alert. Silence pistol shooting from here. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. It's probably over. Yeah, so before I rudely interrupted, he was talking about um, the Colorado targets, Parvati, Sean Rose, a few other people. I'm not freezing for anyone, I'm running. I don't know exactly where I'm running to, but we'll find out. So this is the third area of the mission, the Coco Fields. This is where Jorge hangs out. Jorge Franco. And we have done the kill which involves this cocaine machine. someone else talking now. Yeah, even this final area, I agree, it's not great. This whole mission is not great. Um, there is a challenge, I believe, for making people disappear in the cocoa fields, if I remember correctly. Man, the discovery is really just um, find everything and escape. That's a very short list. Um, but there's a lot of, um, oh wow, pacify each band member with a cocaine brick while disguised as a musician. That's hilarious. I like that. Um, where is... Maybe it's not here. No, that's it there. Pacify five different cocoa field guards while they're among the cocoa field crops. 
So I don't need to be dressed up as anyone. Um, I wanted to see if something else was here. That one's going to be a fun one. Um, there was one in Hitman 2 where you basically had to make everyone's day. And on one hand, I'm glad that it's not here. But on the other hand, I actually wanted to try it. Um, it's got like about eight different objectives and you need to make everyone happy. Like you need to play at the... Um, you need to play at the band thing, at the unveiling. You need to repair things. You need to help people, basically. I'm very surprised I haven't br brung that across and I've said this a few times but I really wish they had brought everything across from the previous games. I understand why they didn't because it requires a lot of testing and whatnot. It is a bit disappointing that not everything made the transition. Uh, let's see if we can pick these guys off um, Batman style. That is Jorge Franco. The Delgado Cartel's chief chemist. I think I can lure them just by doing this, can't I? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's me, Pantero. There's something moving around and Yeah, they're going to spot me instantly, aren't they? I really feel this area was just a way of saying, hey, we put vegetation into this level, into these levels. You can use it to hide. Mm -hmm. I see our electrocution phone. Yeah, you're assuming I've got that unlocked. Am I correct in saying that you can only get that from an import from Hitman 3? From Hitman 2, rather? I thought they actually took it out due to quote-unquote item balance. And all of the bugs that it was causing. You think so? Yeah. I know you can use it on the um, New York Escalation, which is still in the game. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to nail this guy here. And he's probably going to spot the body right now. He didn't spot the body, wow. He saw nothing. And that is not the correct way to pronounce poor vervor. Micro electrocution thing. Yeah, I've seen the. Um, looking through the tools last night, I've definitely got a few electrocution tools that I've never touched. That's three. Thank God SASR unlocks can be done on professional, they can also be done on casual. Master on this level, um, did I do it in Hitman 2? I don't think I did. I don't think I even tried. I definitely did a couple of Master SASRs on Hitman 2, but... On this level, I think I just took one look at and went, no, nah, I am not interested at all. I'm definitely going to get spotted here, but it's fine. Maybe not. SOSO Sniper on Miami. 
Yeah, that one's fairly easy. You just snipe. Um, you got to find a way to take out Robert inside the building. But um, you can easily take out Sierra on one of the um, walkways. Let's see what Jorge does. Ah, our pride and joy. The white stallion. The essence of the rarest of flowers distilled with the hardiest strains of coca available. Listen up. We expect that no one touches the distillation equipment. I've got tons of respect for this you guys. This is a sensitive setup, and we nearly died collecting the last sample of the flower. We hope they appreciate the severity of the situation. We are monitoring everything from our tablet. And we'll be very displeased if any of the lab monkeys here poke at the setup and set off the alarm. We make ourselves clear. Good. Uh, let's have a quick look. Mm hmm. Everything looks good with the plant. Very good. We. Oui. And Franco's drug notes. Uh, Jorge, blah, blah, blah. Fascination of plants, blah, blah, blah. Addictive or hallucinogenic properties of plants. Blah, blah, blah. Looks like he's been exploring a large portion of the jungle in his efforts to find plants to use, and one in particular, maybe near a cliff, has caught his attention. A rare plant found only in a single location in the jungle, overlooking a steep drop off a cliff. I just want to follow him around to see what other opportunities will present themselves, but there's definitely one here which we can use. And that's probably the one that I will use. Uh, just don't walk slightly to the right, buddy. Why did I do that? Wasn't paying attention, sorry. My head was hurting and I wasn't paying attention. You saw nothing, buddy. Just go back on patrol. Micro electrocution device is an electrocution device that's not a lingua, so targets will pick it up. So it's basically just the electrocution phone without the calling. Interesting. So you place it in someone's path and they notice it and they just pick it up and that's the end of that. Oh, what's this area here? Upon 
Take me to your chainsaw supply, buddy. Really, really. Oh wow, you're not actually wearing a disguise that I can grab. Interesting. Um, he's already leaving. He didn't make his call. So that is a very easy area where you can nail him. If you've got this door unlocked somehow without this guy watching, then you can just basically get rid of that guy using the air conditioner, go in and ambush him in there. No questions asked. I think he's now going to look at the cocaine machine. Man, this must be a terrible job. Like the working conditions. So, as it should be obvious to anyone, once this majestic piece of machinery is up and running, productivity will explode. It will be a brave new world. <laughs> we understand. Workers are only humans, and fallible creatures as such. Soon, the new machine will take over, and quality will once again be at the required level. It will, simply put, be amazing. Ah, uh, I see. We will still need people to operate it, right? Or no? So, uh, that sounds wonderful for you, I guess. I mean, I feel I'm wearing better PPE than these guys who are actually working on the refined drug. Like they're breathing in, they're probably getting it in their nose, their face, their mouth. Alright, so at this point I think he will go back on his loop now and he will go back into the hut over there. Oh, I did not know this was here. Let's play with this. Let's distract the guy outside of all people. And we are concealed here because the plants are so damn high. We'll just wait for him to switch it back on and we'll see if we can nail him without anyone noticing. Well done, buddy.
I need to drop my shotgun. And no one in there is an enforcer now, which is great. But I don't have a key card. Did he have a key card? Boston E-Lab key card. He certainly did. Let's go inside. Or we could just follow someone in. Okay, so we're not to tamper with the machinery here. Just um, turn around for a moment, would you, buddy? Thank you. You don't look like you're in distress yet. But you will be very shortly once you realise what's happened. Um, has your script broken? Okay, I'm going to load because you should be freaking out right about now. You should be going, oh shit, um, that shouldn't have happened, we're in deep shit, blah blah blah. Um, I'm a ways back, but that's fine. Sorry, that must have been a glitch. Doesn't Jorge have to come there first? Yeah, he's been there on a previous loop already and said, hey, don't tamper with this thing. But I thought it wouldn't have mattered, mattered if you just... Um, went in there and did it, he would have come on his next loop. Oh, yeah. I distinctly recall the guards going, oh shit, the thing's broken, we're in trouble, we'd better call him, blah blah blah, which is why I've loaded just now. But also, we'll get the opportunity in a moment, and he'll come past, so either way. I'm not going to wait for you to turn on the fuse box because I'm in a hurry. I'll do it myself. Uh, let's grab the keycard wherever it dropped. Gotta drop the shotgun. Head inside. Just make a save. Super consistent, very reliable auto saves. Yeah, that one was five minutes ago. I wish it was a bit closer. When it works, it works. When it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, turn around, buddy, please. Oh, damn. Don't knock that, man. Scratching asses is one of the best things you can do. So I'm hoping once everyone calms down, he'll look at the plants and go, oops, that's a problem, let's call Jorge in. He's not. Is this broken, or am I just completely misremembering how this works? 
Let's see, the other thing I could do is, um, yeah, you know what, let's do this. No, I, he literally just said it there. Literally just said it at that moment there. Alright, you know what, let's just be patient. And I'll talk for a bit in the meantime. So once this mission is done, I'm quickly going to go into Miami because I do want to see if Rico uh, Delgado is actually the guy in the Thwack Paddock bar. Or just a Thwack Paddock. Because if he is, that's very, very interesting in my opinion. And then after that, I'll probably load up an Escalation on this level. And then I'll probably call it quits for today because my head is pounding. Damn it, he literally said Rick, Rick, uh, Jorge's plant is dead just as I went for the kill. Or the swing. Or the pacify. Whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm going to move this out of the way around here. Because what's going to happen is Jorge is going to need to go into the jungle to find a new flower. Which means he's going to head over one of these two bridges, I don't know which, and I do not want him accidentally stumbling over a body as he's making his way through the bushes. Rocking the jewel shotties. I'm freaking out about it, but it's okay. So, he's realized the path is dead, and he's now heading out into the jungle. Please don't walk into those bodies. Please. got a frigging army at your disposal. Just get one of your other guys to do it. Delegate. Also, I do not understand that clothing combination. You've got a long sleeve shirt on, but you've only got shorts? How does that work? Like, if it's, if it's cold enough to be wearing a shirt like that, you shouldn't be wearing shorts. Shorts. 
you all need some lessons in fashion. Indeed, be very careful on the cliff. Very, very, very careful. Uh, so I'm just going to drop a save because there's three things I want to do. There we are. Yes. I want to do a straight shot, which I don't believe I've unlocked yet. I have not. As much as I'd love to use a shotgun, this will ensure that I actually get it right. All targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, Ferguson. Now head for an exit. Secondly, I want to use the fireball, so I never have to bring the fireball back again. And thirdly, we'll go for the cliff push. Such a dramatic loading screen. Uh, secondly, fiber wire. Or rather, fishing line. It actually looked like fishing wire, fishing line that it was holding in his right hand as well. That's a very nice touch. So, versatile assassin, we just need the two poisons and, um, or a drowning and lethal poison. But we'll do those on a future run at some point. But yeah, the fireball wire is something that I typically forget. So I'm doing it early. Getting it out of the way very early. And then finally, we will push him. We'll do it as he's reaching for it. Just stretch a little harder, buddy. Brock is back on the way down. Nasty. Alright, so we do have a couple of uh, feats that we can perform by exiting the map at certain exit points. So we've got the speedboats, sports car, motorbike, and locals car. And I've got to be honest, I don't know how to do any of them. We have the helicopter, which doesn't count. And we have a bunch of locked exits, which I think correspond to all, all of the things that we just looked at. We'll talk to you later. For now though, uh, this car here. I think one of you two has a key and I can subdue you, but you know what? I'm in the mood. Yep, you've got the car key, so let's just grab you and exfiltrate.
All right, so hopefully that's unlocked a fair bit of stuff. Decent, that's about four levels. And yeah, I'll need to practice this a bit and get used to the various areas on the map again before going for SASO or Sniper Assassin. Sniper I don't think will be too hard, it's just relocating around the map and not getting spotted. Uh, SASO is, yeah. It's going to involve a lot of saving and reloading. Spoiler alert in advance. So we've unlocked an assault rifle, which I will probably never use. A violin, which can break if you if used with excessive force. I like that. We've got another smuggle point near the crash plane. We can start at the construction site. And also at the shaman's hut, which we just passed by. Trekking in the jungle and starts his mission near the shaman's hut. Alright, so what I might do, because I feel like garbage, is I might do an escalation. But firstly, I want to check something. Because we had a good look at uh, Rico Delgado on that level. Very briefly when he was crushed by the statue, but more in detail when we were looking through his trophy room while we were trying to determine if he was an egomaniac or not. And what I really want to check is, is he the guy in Miami? Um, starting location, let's start at... Let's start at the driver's lounge. Is he actually the guy in the Thwack Paddock who is boasting to Sheik, whatever his name is? Because if, if he is, that's really, really interesting, in my opinion. What I find interesting is different from what the rest of the world finds interesting, but, you know. Kind of useless, but the violin is super useful for guessing glitching over... Ooh... I, yeah, you're right. I won't use that, but I will definitely look that up later once I'm off stream. And this guy's already here before the race has even ended. Uh, let's go have a look in here. Sheikh Abdul and no, that's Hector. It's not Rico. I assume that Rico is his daddy or something, or his son maybe, but definitely related. I mean, the conversation that I interrupted, they were talking about um, Andrea Martinez. Um, and I definitely recall the name Delgado being used there, but it's not actually the target. It's someone closely related to them, but not actually the target. Alright, I'm just going to try one escalation. They look very similar. I thought it was the same guy. I'm just going to try one escalation, and then I'm going to call it quits there before my throat completely gives out. Uh, I've got one at the construction site, the shaman, the underground caves, which I really don't want to touch because I haven't been there recently, the band member, uh, no clue, also no clue, but not, no, that's the bottom of the mansion, I might do that one, the Delgado, Larceny, and the jungle, let's do this one, hopefully it's not too painful. We need to eliminate one target by using one very particular weapon. 
We need to retrieve a... Oh god, this looks complicated. We need to retrieve a safe combination, which we don't know because... You know, 47 doesn't know that information, but we do. It's 28, 2, and then 4. Don't know if that's left, right, left, or right, left, right, but honestly it shouldn't be that hard to figure out. And start with restricted loadouts, so we don't have the options to change our loadouts here. So the challenge seems to be we need to break into a safe, find a combination for the safe, break into it, retrieve the weapon, and then assassinate someone with said weapon. Let's see how this goes. We are in the bottom of the mansion. We are in the torture room. And we're wounded. And we're in a hostile... Mm, this was a mistake, wasn't it? You can bring up the gif right now. I've made a huge mistake. Someone definitely had a good time down here. Alrighty, so... I don't know where the safe is. I don't know where the safe combination is. I don't know where El Matador is. And I don't know where the target is. But that is why I'm going to use the radar to determine these locations. What have we here? Lethal poison. Nice. I can't use it, but nice. That's good to know for the main mission, I think, that lethal poison is there. Oh, I love this photo. Rico and the hippo when he took his first steps in the pen. Can't believe he's so big now. Not to mention the fact that he's still You, sir, are a problem. There should be another way around, but... Oh, we've got a restricted loadout. We don't have a lockpick. Um, can I drop? Drop down, I can. Got another enforcer there. Huh, all right. Um, got any coins around here? Where is it? I'm sure I put it here. Shit! What is the damn letter? Did someone take it? Oh, sweet Santa Maria! Tell me nobody took the letter. Is this Hector Delgado? Okay, okay. Pull yourself together, Hector. It is. Maybe it's just uh, fucking gone. Some bastards stole that letter, and now they are all reading it and laughing. The bastards. 
This is the worst thing ever. Get deep, Quaid. That is super interesting that he's actually in the previous mission. You can totally assassinate him in the previous mission and he'll come back to life. Um, I really just want to get up into the first room over there to see what is there, whether it's a safe or the combination. I suspect it is the safe. This seems dangerous, in my opinion. The fact that there's a screen out here in the rain and whatever. It doesn't seem very practical. What is around here? Is that the Paris music again? No, slightly different. Um, so the safe combination is in plain sight right there. The only problem I've got is this enforcer. No, that is the Paris music, 100%. They got some good mileage out of that track. Uh, let's head upstairs. This seems to be the way to go. Rico's bedroom. <laughs> oh, you were so drunk at the party last night. Dear people of Santa Portugal. I think we can safely conclude that, yes, we've got the final proof we need now. He is an egomaniac. Dear fisherman of Santa Fortuna. Dude, don't be a prick. Uh, let's go in here. We are in his office, and the problem we've got now is this guy, who I think we can easily distract enough by throwing that down here. He'll come and investigate. Central, Central, something's not right here. Look. Walks around there, we'll use the combination on the safe. And we shall grab the handgun. And now we can eliminate the target. Very simple. Rico Delgado's own gun. Put body piercing rounds, low rates of fire with very high damage. Interesting. I wonder if this is going to be an unlockable gun. Like if I complete all the levels of this escalation, if I'll get to keep it. So target's just down there, sightseeing. I'm concerned about this. I could... No, I can run that way. Okay. That's going to be our escape route. Let's do this. I do have to question how that is not Silent Assassin unless um, his body was spotted as it was flying gracefully through the air. What did we actually miss? No bodies found. Yes, yeah, someone um, saw his body gracefully th flying through the air and that was enough to blow the bonus. I suppose the way around that is to kill him in a more secluded spot maybe by luring him into the tunnel or by um, getting him somewhere else. Would have been an essay by Hitman Contracts and so yeah, I miss those games. Uh, used to be able to get by finishing the escalation but they replaced it with the tear track things oh thanks I hate it um <laughs> the hostage room is now locked yeah okay I know how to get out of there and we need to eliminate this guy using an electrocution
All right, well, that doesn't seem too hard. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. It's going to be a very long time before I get that. So these were all... Were they all bonuses for completing certain um, escalations? Or uh, Actually, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Uh, let's go back in. We need to do exactly the same thing, but this time we need to find someone else and electrocute them. I have been toying with the idea of starting up blood money. Um, just haven't just haven't found a time to do it yet. Blood money and absolution are on my to play list. I have played blood money before and really liked it. I have not played absolution yet. I know what to expect, however. So we'll see how we go. Alright, so he's limping away, I'm not sure why. We can stop blending in and we can turn this off. Oh wow, target's coming in straight away. Okay, interesting. But we can't cause an electrocution opportunity here, can we? This is our target. So if I can find a car battery or something, I can throw it in this puddle and that will be the end of him. Oh wow, and he's the guy with the love letter. Very interesting. Yeah, just need to find a car battery and I'm good. Uh, I'm not going to have you... I'm not going to open it up while you're here, however. So I might move your body to the side just to be safe. And hopefully no one will notice the puddle. We're good. Okay, where can I find myself a car battery? That was surprisingly easy. So I don't remember all the rules associated with this, but I think this is good enough to make it work. Just going to turn that off because I don't want anyone else getting harmed by that. Textures, please. I also have to say that building... No, it's fine. I don't care. It's, um... Building a main cabinet is on my to-do list before I die. It's probably a few years away, though, at the very earliest. I've been spotted, so I'm just going to do this very quickly. And we'll worry about um, being a little bit more stealthy on level 3. Uh, do I have something I can throw? Yes, I do. Huh? Yeah, 
it's me, parcero. There's something moving around out here. Probably a boat in a rata or algo así. I'll get back to you. It's gonna be a pretty big rat or rodent that can throw screwdrivers around. Yeah, I imagine Silent Assassin would be a case of luring him here via the radio and then either dumping the body or just running before his body gets spotted. I don't got time for that however, so let's just shoot him and run. What's next? Eliminate him within 80 seconds of picking us up. That's fairly easy. I just need to um, time my run downstairs and then I can just shoot him from a distance. And I'm not really interested in getting Silent Assassin. So shooting him while he's out in the open, I'll do that if I don't have the time to lure him via the radio. And we've got one more target that we need to kill with an explosion. That one could be interesting because we need to trigger an explosion via a gunshot. Or maybe if he's having a smoke somewhere. We'll need to see what we can do about this guy. But hopefully this one isn't too hard and then I'll call it quits after this because I feel like trash, but it's okay. I'm having a good time. Okay, let's turn the radio off. Then I'll bring him back in. We'll move his body to the side, grab the key, grab the car battery, and make the kill. And we're on again. I don't need to move his body at all, do I? Do I, I do need to strip him down and dress up as him. Some sort of explosive device in the basement. Yeah, I prefer to do it via an accident if possible, but if not, then I'll find some way of detonating an explosive. The big one I've got is my immediately think, okay, let's use a gas tank or a propane tank or something. And if I want to do that, then he's either got a smoke near it or I need to shoot it. And I don't have a silenced pistol. And that's sort of my immediate thought process on that. But that's because my thought process is very limited because I'm still a noob and I'm still learning. And as I play this more and do some weird stuff, I'll learn more and more weird things to try it. Oh, that was a mistake, but anyway. That's interesting, the last target isn't even highlighted. 
So if the game really wants us to troll me, it would put the last target in a, in a different location. Uh, we got hosed going that way earlier, so let's go this way. You know what, let's take out the cameras. We're here, we may as well. Oh dang, someone went in there. Interesting. Uh, this is bad. This is really, really, really bad. That guy in there is exactly where I don't want him to be. And you are dragging the body... ...not in my direction, that's great. So now he's moved back into here, that's good. I can disable the security. That'll just make things a little bit easier. Okay, so my, explo my explosion kill is the guy guarding the safe. I did not know this was here. And this is not a hostile area, which is very interesting. Uh, can I climb up, please? Can't climb up there because I'm at the window. I need to take you out with an explosive. Andrea, tell me the good news. About the statue, Claro. The unveiling today is the band name. <laughs> People must be so excited. Huh? On top of it. Uh, usually that means we have problems. Do we have problems, Andrea? Because I want this to be smooth sailing. Good. Good, good. Okay. Make sure they do. I'm almost done with my speech as well. Just need to practice a few more times. Uh, good, okay. Uh, let me know when you're ready. Bye. Yeah, I may very well have to look for that explosive device in the basement that you're speculating about because I'm not sure how else to do this. There's no coffin in here, is there? There is not. Um... Yuck. There's nothing out here, there's nothing in there. There's maybe something we can use outside, but we've got this enforcer in the way. Kind of nasty. Alright, let's have a wander around and see what we can find. Yeah, even though we're in the correct disguise, this area is fairly well guarded. We have a propane tank, we could use that potentially. Um, but we'd have to basically shoot and run. I may be back for that. I 
don't think it's in the room with the lethal poison. And if it's not there, then I'm not sure where else it is. Because we've got the security room, we've got the kitchen, we've got the quote-unquote wine cellar. We lost another mole last night. Just heard from Martinez that the guy I spent... Car bomb is in there, or the parcel bomb, rather. Damned waste. I bet he's dead. Puncture the wine barrel. What's the points of that? Distraction, maybe. Maybe I can set it on the fire. Uh, the lesser bomb, I don't think, would work for the... Uh, maybe. Maybe. But so I would need a lockpick, or I would need the safe combinations getting to that thing, wouldn't I? Gives me thinking I'll just save before going in there. Uh, the more I'm thinking about this, the more I'm thinking let's just use the propane tank. But it does mean my timing is going to be a bit limited. And it also means how do I get the propane tank up there? I either throw it through the window, or I get past the enforcer, or I take the long way around. No, not that. This is not ideal, but it will work. Now I've actually got to throw that like that. I don't have the combination. I'm getting ahead of myself. Apologies. Hopefully the last target is still down here. That guy. If it's not, then this game is just a massive troll. Speaking of massive trolls, you need to stay out of my way. So, with respect to an exit strategy... I think I'll go through the bedroom. I could try getting out through the window, but... The noise is going to be on the balcony, so I could try coming out here, but honestly I think that's going to be a risk. I'm probably making the wrong mistake, but you know what? I don't care. I could take the shot with my standard handgun that I'm holding here, but honestly... I've then got to break into the safe, and by that point I may be spotted, so... Let's do that, let's grab the handgun... And then we've got an 80 second timer. Grab the gun, thank you. Actually, no, he's gone. Yep. Window. Change of plans. Body found, but that's no risk. Yeah, we're totally safe here. Gonna move around that enforcer. And this guy's just chilling. Maybe we can silent assassin this. Come here, buddy. Good man.
And the body was spotted. That's fine. I suppose the other way you could do that is maybe um, choke him out, pull him back a bit. And then make the kill in a more secluded location, but that's totally fine. Would have been nice to silent assassin that, but whatever. That helicopter's got two little horns on the front. They're not like cannons or anything, they're just like two little spikes pointing out the front. Alright, that is one of seven escalations done. And honestly, that's where I'm going to call it because I feel like trash. <laughs> Yeah, it's unfortunate that we couldn't do Silent Assassin, but it's totally fine. Only two stars for that. Never spotted. I was spotted? Really? Yeah, I kind of refuse to believe any of that. You know what? Screw it. I'll do that one one more time, and I'll silent assassin it, just because I'm in the mood. I mean, I feel like trash, but I'll just try it one more time. And then I'm calling it quits. Uh, this week, work is still trash, so I don't know if I'll get an opportunity to stream any time this week. If I do, it will be much later than now. It'll be like five hours from now before I start streaming. Um, and then I'll be back on the weekend, obviously. Not sure what times exactly. I will try and get myself into a proper schedule. And I will actually be trying to get myself some better equipment so that I can stream in slightly higher quality. Because I've been going at this for about two months now. And although I'm not looking to become like a major streamer or anything like that, I am having fun here. So I would like to screw around with some better equipment and making it look a bit more professional. Realistically, it's probably a couple of weeks away before I get everything set up and everything going, so please be excited for that. This escalation has a challenge you have to essay it. Really? Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. Wow, okay. Thank you for pointing that out to me. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's... I was not expecting that. Do all of the escalations have that? I don't think they do, do they? It's just certain ones. I mean, the only reason I'm doing this again is because I want to try getting Silent Assassin on it. Just before I quit. Just this one. Hmm. So certainly the first two kills seem to work just fine. Um, it was the third one that I need to clean up. And if this strategy doesn't work, then I will leave it for tonight. Actually, you're not in the right position. It's an accident, you're sure of it. I'm so glad you're not a forensic scientist, buddy. I uh, just need this guy to move out of the way so I can disable the cameras. And then I'll just go grab the propane tank and the code and replicate what I did earlier. Hey, 
Really? Your back was turned, buddy. Alright, so I either need to be more patient or I need to throw something into the corner near the locker so that I can distract him and take out the surveillance footage. Or I could have actually taken both out in the room, couldn't I? That's easier. I'll do that next time. Okay, he's turned around. Is he going to stop and yak? No, I need to wait for him to move away. Alright, let's try and be a little bit more intelligent about this. So they're yakking. They're both in here. I can hide here. You know how difficult it is to fake entry nope, that works. Let's grab the propane. Watch out for the enforcer upstairs, wherever he is. He's not facing me, that's fine. We need to grab the code. And I've realized that I can make things a lot easier for myself. I'll know straight away if this is going to work or not. Because I need to eliminate this guy, but there is nothing about potentially pacifying this guy. If I had a coin, this would be perfect, but I don't, so I just need to make do with my pool ball. Just gonna get the timing right. There we go. Come here, buddy. Something strange is happening. Check it out. Now hopefully no one will come find his body. Don't mind me, lady. Just tossing a propane tank. That's not suspicious at all. Everything's fine. Just move along, go back to your duties. Okay, we're gonna serve some propane. I'm going to drop this here. And did I pick up the cue ball? I didn't ask. God damn it. 
think at this point I'm just intentionally making life difficult for myself. There's so many other things I got picked up and I chose not to pick up any of them because I'm like, yep, I've got a cue ball, everything will be fine. Um, there we go. A pair of scissors will do, but now we have to wait a little bit because uh, Rico and another bodyguard have entered the office. It seems like such a nice place. I imagine upkeep and maintenance is terrible, but honestly, I'd love to live in a place like this. Right, so we will just wait for Rico and the bodyguard to leave. And then we'll throw the scissors. Grab the gun, shoot the propane tank, and then quickly head out the window and then shoot the last body. So you want to sell drugs? Uh, no comments. I'm on 47. You can do it. God. Jesus Christ. Okay, we just need to dodge this enforcer. And then what I think I can do is just make the shot, hide the body, and that should be SI. As long as no one spots me dumping it, we're good. One moment, we have a random troll. There's one last person trying to wreck my SA. But it's all good. Thank you for pointing out that feat to me, I really appreciate that. Otherwise, we would have been doing that again on another stream, and I didn't really want to do that. The Delgado, Larceny, 4000 XP. That's going to give me another level. Nice. That's probably a way of SASOing that, but anyway. Ah, that unlocks another SMG, which we will never use. Oh, and also a um, unlock for the Coca Fields, where we can start in the third region. And that's going to be useful when I start learning this level and really trying to nut out a lot of the various challenges. Okay, that's going to do it for me today because I feel like trash. Um, I'll just bring up the challenges really quickly and see what's left. Spoiler alert, there is a lot. Forty-five of ninety-nine, so we're not even halfway there. Uh, the feats is just exiting and um, chameleon. There's nothing complicated there. Sorry, the discovery things. Um, submarine accident, cement mixer. That one's fun. The art in the lobby. 
Never seen that. Uh, we can do that one at the same time as the cement feet, I think. Pushing him into the hippo pool. Yeah, we saw that. We saw, um, I don't remember the hippo's name. I know it was four letters and started with M. Um, poisoning the cocaine bus souvenir. So this is something which I mentioned earlier on, on the stream. There was a challenge in Hitman 2 where you had to make everyone's day. And this thing here, what you need to do is repair it. You need to find some glue, you need to put it back together, and then you need to deliver it. And you can poison that at the same time. That one's a fun one. Uh, versatile assassin stuff here. Catalina. Yeah, this one here. That was the one I was thinking about. So maybe to get her to move to the hot tub, maybe what I need to do is ask her if she wants to be a Twitch streamer. Or maybe I just need to poison her wine with emetic poison. Um, meat enthusiast. Yeah, that one I don't know. While disguised as the shaman, eliminates 10 different Coco field guards. Dude. That seems kind of vicious. Uh, poison street food. That'll be a contract. Another shaman kill. Versatile assassin and... Hector. I haven't seen Hector. I haven't followed Hector around um, to see what cocaine he snorts, but we'll follow him around on a laser run, I'm sure. And then we've got a whole bunch of feats, which I'll probably look at another time because I'm losing my voice and I've had enough. <laughs> no, we do need to actually do. Um... Damn, okay. I need to immediately go back and check Miami. No, no, that's not Silent Assassin. Apologies. Um, it just says complete all levels. I'm seeing stuff now. I saw that, I'm like, oh god, we need to Silent Assassin everyone. But no. Let me just check Miami super quickly. Yeah, Feats is definitely completed. There's nothing there. Complete all levels, nothing about Silent Assassin though. Alright, so next stream, going to be doing more of Sans Fortuna and trying to knock this off as quickly as I can, but honestly, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> anyway, I'm calling it for now. Thank you everyone for watching, thank you for tuning in, and I'll be back online soon.